nose till I get up. Time is barely on our side. I don't wanna waste what's left. Hi guys, how are you doing? Today I am doing a affordable spring makeup tutorial and I'm beyond excited for this video even more than usual even though I think I say I'm excited for every single video like every single time because I always am I love making videos but today's video is a collaboration with Sheila Bear and I'm so excited because she is so sweet and I really want you guys to check out her channel she is going to be doing also an affordable spring makeup look but she's going to be doing it on more of the dramatic side as I did just like really simple eyes and then a bright coral pop or bright pop of color coral lip and I honestly love her channel because she's so genuine and she laughs at herself and she kind of um, her personality kind of reminds me of Marlena from Makeup Geek I love her personality her videos are just so entertaining to watch another thing that I absolutely love is that she does almost every single video um, in English and Spanish and if you know anything about me I love languages I did um, I took five and a half years of credit for, um, like, for French and Spanish in my high school, and, um, I kind of suck. <laughs> I mean, I'm better at hearing than I am speaking, but I love watching her videos because I can watch the Spanish version, I can watch the English version, and, well, it's really helped me in an educational way, but if you speak Spanish you're probably don't know what the hell I'm saying right now but if you do you can watch her videos and um, she has both options which I think is absolutely amazing I will have her video and her channel down below so make sure that you go check it out and subscribe and make sure you tell her in the comments that Amy sent you and let's go ahead and just jump into this tutorial I hope you guys enjoy Hi guys, um, I forgot to mention this in the intro, but if you're new to my channel, welcome. So I'm starting off with this brow pom, not pomade, pencil <laughs> from Avon in the shade Tawny, and it's a perfect shade if you're a redhead, and I'm just using really short um, strokes to make it look um, more like hair and look very natural, and then I'm just combing through with this spoolie from Morphe, but you can use any spoolie you have. Um, I did use all affordable brushes, just that that way this entire tutorial is affordable. I cannot get that sentence out, but I'm just doing the same thing on the other side. And I kind of go a little bit um, harder on the tail just to make it really natural looking. And now I'm going in with the Better Skin Concealer from Maybelline, and I believe this is the lightest shade. I think it's shade 10, and I'm just using that to prime my eyelids and create a really smooth canvas. I'm using this eyeshadow from e.l.f. It's just a white shade I got forever ago in like a smoky eye set or something like that. And I'm just using that to set my um, eyes so that all the shadow goes on top and blends really smoothly. And now I'm using Creme Brulee from Wet n Wild, and I'm using that as a transition shade. If you're darker than me, then you could use that as your base shade and use a different shade for your transition. Since this is pretty light, um, but it does show up on me because, you know, I'm really pale. But now I'm going in with this shade from NYX called Walnut, and I'm just using that to deepen the crease a little bit. Obviously not a lot because this is a very, very natural eye, so I only used a tiny bit of product and I'm going in with a really light hand and just making sure everything is really blended and smooth. And now I'm going in with this peachy shade from the Wet n Wild Comfort Zone 8 Pan Palette. And I'm using a Morphe brush just to put that all over my lid. I kind of packed it on and then I'm going back in with no additional product and the M505 to blend and make everything perfect. And now I'm going in with the Essence um, Eyeliner in the shade... Actually, I don't know the shade, but it's in Waterproof. And the waterproof version is a lot blacker than the non-waterproof, which is why I'm using the waterproof. But I'm just creating a really tiny wing, um, nothing crazy, just enough to add a little drama. And now I'm using the Nivea Men Post Shave Balm in Sensitive to prime my skin. I get it nice and tacky, and then I rub it all over my face. And I'm using the Baby Skin Primer from Maybelline just in my T-zone so that everything is really nice and smooth. And now I'm using the Maybelline um, Fit Me Matte and Poreless Foundation in shade 110. 
and I'm just using that on a Real Techniques Miracle Complexion Perfection something sponge. And um, I'm just dabbing that all over, blending it in. I love this foundation. It just has such a pretty coverage and a nice finish. And it just lasts really well. It is an amazing foundation. I think it's only like $6. So I love, love, love it. And now I'm going back in with the same concealer that I primed my eyes with. And I'm just creating a V underneath my eyes. Um, I'm going on my nose some since I get red there, my chin, my cupid's bow, my pimples and blemishes, and then a little bit on the middle of my forehead. Oh, no, never mind. I didn't do my forehead. I lied. <laughs> but I'm just blending that out with the same Real technique sponge and just dabbing. You want to dab. You don't want to swipe because you want to have as much coverage as possible, or at least I do. Now I'm going in with the Wet n Wild Contour Duo in Dulce de Leche and I'm just using the yellow shade to set underneath my eyes and nowhere else because I'm going to go in with the L'Oreal True Match Lumi Cushion Foundation in W2 which is a little too dark for me and I'm going to use it to kind of cream bronze slash contour a little bit and just add a little bit of depth but it's very very natural. I actually really like this foundation this way because for me it's just not a lot of coverage and the shade's not exactly right so... But I like it this way. I like the way it looked. And now I'm going in with the e.l.f. Um, HD powder. And I'm just using this brush from Icing, which I absolutely love the Icing brushes. But I'm just using that to set my entire face. And that makes any product that you put on top a little bit smoother. And just to finish off my eyes real quick, I'm taking that Walnut eyeshadow from NYX and just blending it underneath my eyes. Just for something really soft but still a little definition. And I'm using this brow bone shade from the Comfort Zone palette. And I'm using that same brush. I just wiped it off. And I'm highlighting. I really love this shade actually. I wasn't expecting it to look as pretty as it does. But it really is pretty. It's kind of like MAC Nylon but a little bit more yellow. So it's really nice. And then I'm just blending a final time to make sure everything is still very smooth. And now I'm going in with this ColourPop Cream Gel Liner in Swerve, and I kid you not, this liner lasted so long, like over 8 hours, and I washed my face twice, and it was still completely there. So this eyeliner is amazing, definitely a must-have. And I am using this <laughs> mascara from Lancome, and the reason why is because I really don't have um, any full-size mascaras. I have like so many samples I'm just trying to get through, so I'm sorry I don't have an affordable option for mascara. But I'm using the Butter Bronzer in Shade Bronzer from Physicians Formula just to bronze up my cheeks and make them really nice. I absolutely love this bronzer. It's so natural and pretty and it smells like, um, like the sun and pina coladas and bananas and happiness. And now I'm taking the next blush in Taupe and the Zoeva 109 brush. And I do have a full video showing the Zoeva 109 compared to the... Um, what's it called the NARS Eda brush and I do believe it is a dupe so I will leave that down below if you guys are interested on in seeing like a full comparison but I'm just using those two products together to sculpt out my face and make everything really nice and chiseled and I'm kind of trying a new contour technique today where I like chisel my like um chin type thing I don't know I was just trying something different. And now I'm using the Makeup Revolution Highlighter in Radiant Lights. And I'm just using that to highlight my skin and give a really pretty fresh glow. It's nothing too crazy, but it's really pretty. And it kind of fit in with the peachy, pinky theme that I had going on. And I am going to be using this shade from the e.l.f. Blush Palette in Light. And as you can see, I kind of moved it a little so you could see the pretty sparkles in it. And I'm just using that as a blush. And I really, really love this shade. It's super pretty. And it's just like enough, just the right amount of glow. I love it. And it went with the look really well. And then I'm just using a little bit of chapstick before I put my liquid lipstick on. Just so that my lips are really nice and refreshed. Because I am using Ouija from ColourPop, which is the old formula. So it's a little bit more drying. But if you use a thick layer of chapstick underneath, it's absolutely beautiful. And it dries so much better. So I'm just um, adding that. I wanted a really pretty coral lip for this look. Just because I felt like it would pop perfectly and I always think of corals when I think of spring. So I hope you guys enjoyed this pretty spring makeup tutorial. And don't forget to check out Sheila's channel and subscribe. 
and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!